Last year, the 2020 Greater LA Homeless Count reported that over 66,000 people were unhoused in Los Angeles County. This number was a 12.7% increase from the year before, and between the rising cost of housing and increasing unemployment rates due to the COVID-19 pandemic, there does not seem to be any comprehensive plan for addressing California's housing crisis. Marcella Amora is one individual who has taken it upon herself to address the housing crisis in her city, Long Beach. Marcella has organized a community outreach program that provides food, water, and other necessary items to unhoused individuals living in the LA Riverbed. I volunteered on one of Marcella's donation drives to see the reality of the housing crisis in Long Beach and to understand what impact community outreach programs are having, if any. I started doing this because last year I was going out when all of the protesting was going on. So I would go out in like LA, Long Beach, Orange County and provide um, protest aid and um, food and water and supplies for the protesters and the unhoused that I would see. Mm -hmm. And then um, after that, starting like when the heat wave started in like June, I was like, oh crap, like people don't have water. So I was doing like water drops like twice a week going out to the unhoused and providing them cold water Mm -hmm. and snacks and then after that i just been started doing this it's gonna rain on monday i believe yeah so yeah let me know if you need anything specifically you know it's gonna rain thank you i definitely have developed um relationships with a lot of people um it, it just it just sucks because when they get swept they move so it's been kind of hard to keep that relationship because i'll go back to give them some stuff and then they'll be gone it just kind of sucks because they're human too and you kind of form a bond with them and then when they leave you you get worried I, there's a lot of women that i get worried about marcella is referring to the sweeps conducted by la county officials who force unhoused people to relocate from an area In the L.A. riverbed, this often means just moving from one encampment to another since there aren't adequate shelters or housing nearby. Not everyone gets swept, though. One of the people that Marcella has developed a relationship with is this woman named Tu. Tu has been living in the L.A. riverbed for about three years. I asked Tu what she thought about Marcella's program and what she wished people understood about unhoused people like her. I love her. She's awesome. You guys are awesome. Homeless people are bad people. I spoke with another man who has been living in the LA riverbed for about a year and a half. He wasn't comfortable being filmed or sharing his name, but he wanted to tell me that he was grateful for the work Marcella has been doing. I asked him if there was anything he wished the public knew about people who are in his situation. He said that he wished people knew how hard it was to be comfortable when you're living on the streets. Marcella echoed what the people I spoke with were telling me, that the public has a real misunderstanding for what it's like to be unhoused. They think that they're all on drugs or they want to be on the street. And in reality, when we think about it, a lot of these people were, you know, lost a job and they couldn't afford to pay their rent or something happened, you know, like people don't realize we're all one paycheck away from being unhoused. And um, a lot of these people still work Mm -hmm. and they're still living out on the street. And also I feel like another thing is that we need to realize is like, even if they are on drugs, we shouldn't drudge them yeah. because like if you think about it if you are living out on the street and you don't ha- know when you're going to get your next meal or anything like you just kind of want to numb the pain and you just want to like you just want to numb the pain you know like people who are drunk who cares like I, I would want to be drunk too if I was living out on the street like I wouldn't want to be sober I wouldn't want to deal with this so I feel like we should not judge them because there's people who work and have jobs and have a home and they still do drugs and doesn't make them any better than us, you mm-hmm. know? So, um, yeah, I just feel like that's one thing is a lot of people think that they're all drug addicts or they're all thieves or something. And that's not the case. Like it's a very small percentage of people that are like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> the reality is though, that there are a lot of people who do judge and misunderstand homelessness and unhoused people. Standing here in the encampments in the LA riverbed, it's hard to picture how LA County can solve its housing crisis. It feels too far gone. Marcella predicts that the situation will only get worse since she's witnessed a series of sweeps in the times that she's been running her community outreach program. For now though, she doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. It's clear that her work is greatly appreciated by the people who she reaches. And we're 